Hey everybody, it's Stable Gamer here and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we have a brand new game for you. It is an idle game. It is very different from what you typically see on this channel though, but I downloaded it and I'm having a lot of fun with it. This is The Office, Somehow We Manage. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and walk through it. I'm gonna show you this game because again, I'm having fun and I have a secret to share. But first, before we get into that, if you're just now finding this channel and you wanna stay up to date with the latest in mobile gaming, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back. Just a quick reminder, all the links to my social media are in the description below, so definitely check that out. Um, all right, The Office. This is somehow we manage. I'm on right now The Dundies Part 2, so I'm a little bit into the game. Uh, it's just, it's a very different game uh, than what you typically see on the channel. It's not a turn-based RPG. It is an idle game, though, and uh, it's more of an office management type game. And I think really what is cool about this, and oh, and the secret that I need to share I don't know anything about this. <laughs> I haven't seen an episode. Actually, my daughter uh, my daughter and I and my wife and, and all of us tried to sit down and watch a Christmas episode. We didn't get through the whole thing for one reason or another. But I really haven't seen this show. I know about it, obviously, the red stapler, things like that. You can see the stapler in jello on uh, Dwight's desk there. But um, I'm very new to it. The cool thing about that, though, is is you don't know you don't need to know anything about The Office to enjoy the story here. And if you like this kind of gameplay, I think you'll enjoy the game as well. Um, if you're very familiar with it, though, I think you'll enjoy it also. Um, I think you'll also enjoy the story and just the characters and the things that you have to do. So let's just take a look at some of the basics of this game. Really, it's about, um, right, it's, it's getting sales, making money, upgrading characters. So like right here, I'll click on this, I'll go through, here's the characters that I currently have right now. As you work through the story, you unlock new characters, you do upgrade them, and as you upgrade them, you get more benefits, you generate money faster, things like that. Um, you also have decor to put on their desks, and the decor here is, like, like you can see the jello stapler there, um, as you as you upgrade them, it also helps in, increase the amount of resources you get quicker as well. And then you can also up, upgrade the desks themselves uh, by collecting cards and stuff through here. So you can see the different characters, the desks. Coffee is the energy in this game. So it is an energy-based game. There are quite a few ways to get energy, though. A lot of it is just watching ads though um so for this right here I, I definitely suggest making sure that you max out your time there it does max out at 12 hours you want to add the time so you can double your cash uh, down here also this is where i can get some coffee i watch an ad i can get 15 coffee um, you can as you upgrade the desks and as you get more money you can automate those desks um, so you as you can see right here these top few i don't need to collect the money but down here on whose desk oscar's desk here you can probably hear my dogs in the background. Um, Oscars, I have to manually grab the money there because he's not automated. I have to click on this and I need to get, uh, who is that, Pam to level four and I need 100 trillion, ca the cash that you generate in here is just insane. Like right now, it doesn't, it, it, it goes beyond trillions. I'm at like 6.08 AA and then it'll go AB or and then ACAD, it just continues up like that. Um, so that's what that is. Uh, you're gonna generate that. You you generate these leads here. As you generate these leads, you get bonus uh, uh, additional stuff, right? You can max out these desks. So like if I go right now, you can see here, I've got 300 of 400. I can almost go up to 400 to go to the next level. doesn't look like anybody I can really go up to the next level on, on this one right here. Um, so up at the top here, where, where it says episode six, you have those check marks. We're gonna actually go into the boss challenge. The cool thing here is I can continue with this episode and each episode takes place within a day. So the next day, the next day, everything resets. You do keep the level of your characters. You do keep the decor and everything you have and the levels that you've, you, uh, the levels that you've put into those. So you do get to keep all that. You just start over every day uh, generating money and stuff like that. So we're gonna go ahead and do a boss challenge here in a minute. You collect the premium currency here, which is uh, Scott coins up here, you, up in the middle, you can see I have 12. And then obviously you see the money there. There are events in this game. Um, again, this game just came out right now. I believe this is the first event. I think it's been out for about a week or so. As you work through, uh, work through the event, you have these milestones and you'll collect these rewards here. So let's go ahead, we'll enter there. One thing to keep in mind, about about um, the event is as you are working through ev the event, the only the only thing that you keep out of here 
The only thing that you can carry over into the main game are the Scots coins. So these uh, these yogurt lids, the blue uh, the blue currency up there at the top right, you don't get to keep those. So you might as well just spend all of them. It looks like I've generated some stuff to collect this. Let's go ahead and get some stuff here. It gives me cards to upgrade my characters. It gives me um, also desk cards to upgrade the desks. And then you can also get decor and stuff in here as well. So right now, all this is, I've got, what, a day and 22 hours left, and you want to get through as many of these objectives as possible. Start Toby's desk, collect 30 cards, spend 400 yogurt lids. Um, I have over 1,000 yogurt lids up there because I spent, I had I had 100 Scots coins that I, that I collected. You can go to the store here, and I purchased this event basket, which gave me those yogurt lids, which, which really helps with the event. I don't know if it was the best use of Scots coins. Um, still pretty early in this game for me to determine. Uh, but it, but you can spend real money in here as well for different packs. Scots coins, again, is the premium currency that you can use. So obviously, if you want to move faster through this, you can. Um, if you spend money on uh, money on the game, I just I'm just playing this as free to play. And then I'm just continuing to work and unlock the desk. So I need. It looks like I can, st I can start Toby's desk. So let's go ahead and do that. Boom, got that. I don't have him. Obviously, I need to get him automated so I don't have to manually go in and, and, and collect the money. Let's go ahead and collect that. And as I collect these objectives here, the milestones completed, 3 of 17, you see up there at the top, uh, you'll start ticking those off. So, all right. So I think we're good there. I need uh, <laughs> I need 500 AF <laughs> to, start that, to start that desk there. Um, and then... I can go ahead. I can watch. Um, I can watch an ad to get thirty yogurt lids there. So that's what this event is all about. The rewards that we're gonna get. Let me go ahead, click on here. You can you can see the different rewards that we're gonna get here. If you're able to max the rewards out, looks like uh, uh, looks like we got some decor there. Quite a few Scots coins, which is cool. Quite a bit of coffee, which is great because again, coffee is your energy in this game, um, and that's what you and that's what you're playing for in the first event. Let's go back to the main game. And then we're going to go ahead and do the boss challenge. Now, that's really it. There is a store here, too. You can go ahead and take a look at this store. Again, you can get stuff, purchase decor items to up, up upgrade those decor items for the desks. You can see them sitting on the desks, if I haven't shown that already. So Dwight's desk is full. I got one more to collect for Stanley, uh, one more for Angela, one more for Kevin, and I don't have any for Oscar. I'm going to go ahead and collect his money here. So once you complete all those check, check marks, you can do the boss challenge. The, once you complete the boss challenge, it then takes you into the next day and the next episode. And then the story just continues to unfold there, which is kind of cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Scott's, uh, the challenge. But really quick, before we do that, if we take a look at Scott, you want to up, uh, not Scott, but Michael, Michael Scott, right? <laughs> Michael, as you upgrade him, it increases his boss power. You can see down there, the boss power helps you with these boss challenges. And it's pretty... My wife explained it last night as um, the most violent challenge <laughs> that she's seen. And you'll see why. Because once we go into the boss challenge, you got to tap. You got to tap the screen fast um, in order to get it. So we're going <laughs> to, I'm going to tap furiously here for a second. But let's go ahead. We click on the boss mug up there. Here's the boss challenge. We're, we're competing for boss coins. Start tapping early. Oh, I did it again. Come on! Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> anyway, as you level Michael up, uh, the tapping you get more for the tap, which means you can make more progress there, which is pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, then you get your boss challenge complete. We're good there. Tells me what my new high score is. And we have some rewards here. And episode complete. <laughs> anyway, so that's the game. I think really overall, the game is fun. Um, I think if the game is going to continue, it's already doing pretty well in the store. Um, I th it, it looks like it's got quite a bit of positive reviews already. Uh, the score, I think, is at a 4.8 or something like that. So... People are enjoying the game. They're having fun. I think for the longevity of this game, I think we need some more game modes. And it seems like really they're, with the boss challenge and things like that, they could probably put some mini games in here uh, to keep people interested and in coming back. 
beyond the events. So it'd be interesting to see kind of what their plan, what their roadmap is for a game. Because typically when a game comes out, there's a roadmap for a year or two or so forth or so on. So we'll just kind of see what that looks like. So again, um, there you go, everybody. There is the office somehow we manage. Very interested in your thoughts. Are you checking this game out? Again, very different from what we typically see on this channel. But I was having fun with it or am having fun with it. Uh, so I wanted to share it with everybody. All right, everybody, that is what I had for you. As always, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, Make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comments section below.